Hey everybody, um, I'm going to sit and explain to you now what um, our one-sided object should look like. Most of you got this and most of you um, did a great job creating this one-sided object. It's called a Mobius strip. We have to picture it not in our three-dimensional world. So we have to picture it in um, a, a world that does not have three dimensions. We are making a model of what this would look like in a non-three-dimensional world. In our three-dimensional world, this piece of paper also has a measurement that if we zoomed in with a microscope, we would see that there's actually another edge here at the piece of paper. Pretend that this piece of paper doesn't have any thickness. So what you do is you take this strip here and you're going to take one end, either end, it doesn't matter, and you're going to flip it over. And then you're going to take those two ends and you're going to connect them. So you're going to have a twist in your piece of paper. And then you connect those two ends and join those together. This is called a Mobius strip. Created a model of a one-sided object. So let's pretend that we have an imaginary person and they're going to walk on our one sided surface. They're going to take a walk in a perfectly straight line and they're not going to change their direction ever. They will go around this shape and end up exactly where they started. So imagine yourself leaving your mailbox and taking a walk and not making a single turn. You would not end up back at your mailbox until you went around the entire globe. If you walk on a Mobius strip or a one-sided object, you will end up back where you started without making a single turn. It's kind of like entering a new dimension or something. Here's another example, which I think is even cooler than the first one. If we have person A and they're standing on this side and they have a friend, person B, who's standing on this side and they say, all right, time to leave. A says, I'm going in this direction. B says, I'm going in the opposite direction, I'll catch you later. So A starts walking, and A starts walking around, and then B takes off. And B doesn't take too many steps until they see A coming around the corner, and they eventually bump into each other. If they were standing opposite each other, thinking they were on two different surfaces, walking in opposite directions, when in actuality, they were standing on the same surface, and walked right into each other. All right, so here's a really cool thing with our Mobius strip, ready? So this is what you're gonna do. Once you're done kind of playing around with this and drawing a line and realizing how cool this is, cut this thing apart, okay? So you're gonna follow your center line here. So you're gonna just give this snip and you're going to cut along your center line. So basically you're cutting this Mobius strip in half. And what do you think is going to happen at the end? What do you think happens? Next cool thing with cutting a Mobius strip, you're going to start cutting right, about a third over like that. So we have one third, two thirds, and then three. So we're gonna start cutting on this line and we're gonna keep cutting all the way around. And you're gonna start cutting. And stay cutting about a third the way over like that. All right, never changing direction, staying in a straight line. And what do you think happens? On Monday, we're gonna go through our two-sided object and our three-sided object um, really quickly. Those are really kind of like wacky concepts to think about. And then we're gonna really jump forward to doing a four-sided object, which we can actually build with the, uh, the old homemade haircut. So hopefully you had a good time. Hopefully you have a good weekend and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.